talk about equal dominion. Equal dominion. God has given us equal dominion as male and female, man and woman. God has given us equal footing. And the grace of God is for the whole body. The grace of God is for the whole body. And I believe, and I know many of you would agree with me, that the body of Christ as a whole, the body of Christ is being ushered into an era that we have never experienced before. And it is good. It's real, real, real good. If God is moving women, God is correcting things that have been out of order by the grace of God. God is correcting things that have been out of order. Along with that, believers, along with that, women, you've got to raise your expectations, raise your standards. This is the season for you to have high standards, high expectations for yourself, for what you expect to happen in your life. I mean, but go ahead and go ahead and just believe God. Go ahead and believe what God is doing. Go ahead and believe what God is saying. No more. Don't 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 turn um, or shy away or shun the desires that God has placed in your heart based on what society has said you can and cannot do. I don't know how we got this idea that because you name somebody help, they less than. Maybe somebody who never needed help before came, with, came up with that idea. Because I've been in some situations where I needed some help. And if somebody came in weaker than me, or even equal to my strength, we both was going to be in trouble. Women, you are capable, well able, to do whatever needs to be done. You got what it takes. You got what it takes. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. Right there, God speaks a relationship that the serpent and the woman will have forever. Forever. I'm saying forever. We restoring this. From now on, there will be enmity. What does that mean? enmity, opposition. There's going to be opposition between you, serpent, and the woman from now on. What does this mean? Now, devil, you got a fight on your hand. That's what this means. The purpose of the vision that you have, the purpose of the business that's on the inside of you, the purpose of the plan that's on the inside of you, the vision that you have for your family, whatever God has birthed on the inside of you, the end result of it is you're going to crush the devil's head with it. That's what God has put on the inside of you. Everything he places on the inside of a believer, every vision, every dream, every desire, the end result is to crush the devil's head.